Sophia. And my dad is Rudy Tibbs. So, before we get into the concert, I have a little joke for you guys. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cows. Cows who? No, cows moo. <laughs> and now the moment you have all been waiting for, Rudy Toon. <laughs> listening. Thank you very much. Thank you to my daughter, Sophia, for introducing me. I hope you liked her little joke about cows, and I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Um, yesterday was Earth Day, and Earth Day is one of my favorite days of the year because it makes us pause for just a minute, and it makes us think about, you know, what we're doing to the planet and what we're doing to the earth. And uh, today is April 23rd. And so Earth Day was April 22nd. And uh, it's 2020. And so, um, you know, we're in strange times right now with, uh, with a virus called COVID-19. And um, the earth has kind of paused. 
And one of the cool things is there's not as much pollution and you can see the stars better when you go out at night if there's not clouds and the rivers are a little cleaner and the oceans are maybe a little cleaner right now. There's some good things coming out of this for sure. And hopefully we can kind of take the momentum uh, of healing the earth and keep that going. Even when we get to get back to doing some of the things that we're used to doing, like going to school and going to parks and all that stuff. And speaking of parks, Connor Prairie is a really cool place to visit. And I can't wait till they get open again because uh, it's a uh, park of sorts. Uh, it's kind of like a living museum, but it's based in the 1800s instead of the 2000s. Back in the 1800s, they didn't need Earth Day because they took care of the Earth really well back then anyway. They grew their own gardens and made their own food and took care of their own animals and all this stuff. And hey, there's a lot to be said for uh, going back to the 1800s and living a little more simply. So. Because it was Earth Day yesterday, I'm kind of celebrating all week or all month, and um, I'm going to sing some songs about the Earth, about recycling, about reusing, about reducing uh, what we use on a daily basis, and uh, a couple of the songs maybe you've heard before, um, but uh, I'm going to do one that I wrote now called Recycle It, and it goes like this. <laughs> Don't throw it out Give it to a friend so they can see what it's about Recycle it When you drank all your soda pop Don't toss the can Don't put it in the garbage That's not a good plan Recycle it Recycle the container and the earth gives you a hug. Recycle it. When you read a newspaper, don't throw it out. Recycle it, it will be used again someday. Give a scream and a shout. And recycle it. Everybody, recycle it. Recycle it. R E C Y C L E. Recycle it. Recycle it. Recycle. about recycling, giving the earth a big hug, and it will hug you back. One of my favorite songs that I wrote is called Silly Billy and His Funny Friends. And it was written, it was inspired by an author named Shel Silverstein. And he's one of my favorite authors of all time. He wrote a book, Where the Sidewalk Ends, that uh, is out in our house so we can grab it and read a poem or two every day. And uh, so this song is dedicated to Shel Silverstein and it's dedicated to all the poets everywhere. Silly Billy and his funny friends, they all live where the sidewalk ends. <laughs> Friends. 
Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. They all live where the sidewalk ends. They live in a house that looks like a shoe. And when you get inside, there's so much to do. We race around the house in a little canoe and feed the horses at their petting zoo. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. They all live where the sidewalk is. Kitchen, there's cookies and chocolate cake. We laugh and dance and we sing silly songs. At Silly Billy's house, everyone gets along. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. They all live where the sidewalk is. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. Silly Billy and his funny friends. They all live where the sidewalk ends. everybody i hope you enjoyed that song silly billy and his funny friends once again that's dedicated to shell silverstein now here's a song i learned a while back this was in the curious george movie if anybody saw that the curious george cartoon movie and uh it's written and performed by a guy named jack johnson and it was inspired by an older song called three is the magic number and he kind of twisted it just a little bit to make it all about Earth Day and reducing, reusing, and recycling. And so it goes like this. Three, it's a magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. Because two times three is six, and three times six is eighteen, and the eighteenth letter in the alphabet is R. We've got three R's we're gonna talk about today. We gotta learn to reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce, reuse. Recycle. If you're going to the market to buy some juice and you bring your own bag, you can learn to reduce your waste. You gotta learn to reduce. And if your brother or your sister's got some cool clothes, you can try them on before you buy some, before you buy some more of those reuse. You gotta learn to reuse. And if the first two R's don't work out And you've got to make some trash Don't throw it out Recycle it Recycle it you got to learn to reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle
36, 33, 30, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3. It's a magic number. Ah, oh, thank you very much, boys and girls. How's everybody doing? Is everybody good in there? I hope so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to do a song I wrote now. This was inspired by Halloween. And it was inspired by the song, uh, oh, what's the song? Da -da 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 -da. I can't remember the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> but it starts out with the exact same line as this song. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops. 
That doesn't want to come off. Uh, we'll just leave that on for now. It's caught around all my cords. <laughs> Fix that just a little bit. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Kind of a rainy day here in central Indiana. Yesterday on Earth Day, it was a beautiful day. And um, I hope that uh, everybody was able to get outside and enjoy it just a little bit in these wild and wacky times. So boys and girls, talking about Earth Day again and Earth Week and Earth Month, and let's just go ahead and make it Earth Year and let's make it Earth Decade and uh, maybe even Earth Century because I tell you what, the Earth is uh, very important. We all live and breathe on this Earth and everything works together. So if the oceans are all out of balance, that's going to affect us. If the soil is all out of balance, that's going to affect us. Do you know that if all of a sudden there weren't any trees anymore, we wouldn't even be able to breathe? That's kind of crazy, right? But fortunately, there's millions and millions of trees right now, but we can't just cut them all down. So taking care of the earth involves being the best that you can be. And this song is called The Best Me I Can Be. Now, when I say be the best me that, that you can be, I don't mean to be like me. I try to lead a good example, but I don't mean to be like me because if you were me, who would I be? But I mean, when you wake up in the morning every day and you go to the bathroom for the first time and look in the mirror and you see yourself in the mirror, just pause for a quick 10 seconds and look yourself in the eye because if you promise something to yourself, you're gonna have a better chance of, of making it true. So look yourself in the eye and say, today I promise to be the best me I can be. And then if you go out there and you really try, you're gonna have a pretty good day and you're gonna be nice to your parents and nice to your friends and your siblings and even nice to the trees. And that's what this song is all about. <laughs> Ask a lot of questions and take a lot of notes and learn all that you can from the older folks. And keep your eyes wide open so that you may see and try to be the best, the best me you can be. Get to know your parents and get to know your friends and when one of them needs it have a helping hand to lend care about your brothers and your sisters and the trees and try to be the best the best me you can be Take care of your body, take care of your mind, and your face might hurt a little bit from smiling all the time. Learn to breathe and laugh and have the most fun that you can. Boys and girls, who likes to have fun? Try to be the best, the best me in the land. Try to be the best, the best me in the land. All right, boys and girls, don't forget, promise yourself every day you're going to be the best me that you can be. All right, I'm going to do one more song now. This is going to be another Earth Day song. I would like to make sure that I thank Keith and Zach and everybody at Connor Prairie for asking me to do these live concerts over the past month. I've gotten, this is my second one and I'm very grateful for that guys. So thank you very much to all the girls and boys and men and women at Connor Prairie that make that place such an awesome place. And 
I sure hope we can all see each other there sometime in the summer. So um, boys and girls, have a great rest of the day, and I'm going to leave you with this song. I'm going to make you sing along with me, if you will. This song was written, I found this a long time ago. It was written by a band named uh, uh, Recycle Man and the Dumpster Divers. Doesn't sound like a very good job to be in that backing band, right? Diving in dumpsters, I don't know. But Recycle Man and the Dumpster Divers. And it's called Every Day is Earth Day. And it goes like this. <laughs>
thank you, boys and girls, very much. I'm Rudy Tunes, and thank you, Connor Prairie, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Remember, Earth Day is every day. Have a great day today, a great rest of the week, a great, great weekend, great month, great year, and a great life. Thank you. <laughs>